Ni bana DJ Farabili Makado. Dabu ya Namili Makado. Isha na mwa hapo ni swa. Waya sana. Hello everyone. Ni Melissa Ntichiwela. She's Kawa Makado. Ni mudiru wa machiru 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 bava hamulima. Uh, I am an actress, a financial planner, I'm a baker, I'm a mom, I'm so many things, I'm a businesswoman. Listen, we are trying this life thing, I'm telling you. Um, it's cold, that's why I'm wearing this jacket. It's very, very cold in Joburg. I am in Houding in South Africa and it's extremely cold. Um, welcome, welcome everyone to... Everyone that is new here, Ndikoribuwa, thank you so much for your love and support. So obviously, you had something about my channel and that's why you're here. And Ndikoribuwa for your love and support. And to those that are new here, Batum, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I mean, it's free and you're already here and you love this content. You love whatever that I am saying. So please do subscribe to my channel, Ndikoribuwa, um, and to my retaining subscribers, Ndikoribuwa Ngamanda. It's cold, it's raining in Johannesburg, and which is the reason why I want to talk about rain. I did a video about the best water for cleansing, and I didn't speak about rain water for this reason because I wanted to do rain water videos separately because it has different benefits. Um, as I told everyone, I was raised by my grandmother, two grandmothers. The first one was a Sangoma from my dad's side and the second one was from my mom's side who was a Christian who went to a church called Dutch and now I'm going to talk about my grandmother from my dad's side who taught me about the rainwater and the importance of rainwater and why today we're going to be talking about rainwater. Um, we had a lot of rain in Venda. It rains a lot in Venda. That's why we have a lot of vegetables and a lot of fruits in Venda because it rains a lot. And we, she would use the bucket for different things. Like for example, she would wash her clothes using rainwater because she would believe it will be cleaner than clean. And hey, if a person steals your your clothes, for example, they will not be able to be with you because you used rainwater to clean or to wash your clothes. So she would put the mabaket, we used to call them madrom, and put them kazi, what do you call them? You know when it's raining on your house, there's this thing that would make the water drip. <laughs> yes, ilungu, English, yes. So, and then she would put a bucket there so that when the water comes from that place, to the house and then it will go into this huge buckets which we call madrom in in my culture and then that she would use that rain for us bathing um for washing her clothes and washing plates and almost everything in the house um but with rain water she would for her, for cleansing people for for bathing people when people come and they want to be cleansed of all the evil spirits and whatever she said to me the most important thing about rainwater is for money rainwater unlike the other waters that i spoke about about your bad luck about all things not working well in your life that they cleanse you in the river cleanse you with uh, sea water and all those kind of still waters that i spoke about this one is specifically for money like people took your money you don't have money you are not seeing what is happening you're working but your money just disappears and you're like the minute i get paid and i remove 100 rand, the money is gone or uh, I'm not working. Money doesn't come. I never have money. Or um, just money doesn't love me. I don't have money. I want money. Or money just disappears. But it's specifically for money. And she said that you, we use rainwater to bring back the luck for money. You want money. <laughs> so she said that how you do it is that you, instead of you, uh, putting a bucket where there's this thing that I was talking to you about in your house where the water drips from the roof or from the house and then you put a bucket, you don't do that. You put a bucket anyway and the rain comes directly from the sky. 
this is god's crying and saying i want my children to be happy i want to give them money i want them blessed when it reaches the ground it creates uh, fruits, vegetables, all those things in the land. You know how we cry for rain because our food comes from the rain, you know. Therefore, you let you put your bucket just in the middle of nowhere in your house outside your bucket or something big and the rain just comes directly to your bucket, not from the house, the roof and then to a bucket. No, but you just leave it there for it to come straight from the sky from God to your bucket and that's the water for cleansing now with this water you can use it like that you know after bathing with normal soap preferably at night before you go to sleep once you bath with your normal soap after bathing with your normal soap and then you take that water that you found directly from the sky to your bucket you bath with that preferably cold you can just warm it up a bit with a bit of hot water but preferably as it is Hey, okay. yeah, Banda. Then you bath while you're speaking. Success, prosperity, man, 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 must follow you, you know. And it's also good to add bay leaf, you can add salt, rough salt. You remember how I told you with rough salt, you must remove it like this from the plastic, you don't hoe it like that. It's always with your hand, with salt, whatever you do with your rough salt, rough salt. It's cost salt something, but we call it half salt. So you remove it with your hand and you put it in that water. Uh, there's a lot of benefits for salt, which I'm gonna do a video about the importance of salt. Of salt. Uh, not the refined, fine one, no, the normal one. So you remove it with your hand and you put it in the water, or you can put sugar or bay leaf. Uh, you can put so many things in in the rainwater that you are using uh you can also use holy ash or just normal ash like my grandmother didn't know what holy ash was because there was no holy ash back then but she would use the ash from the fire that we have at home and she would just refine it in the strainer and pray for it and it became holy ash it was a natural way of making holy, holy ash so you can add holy ash as well you know you can add milk in there uh, there's so many things that you can add depending on what you want, but basically you can use it as it is and it is for money as I have said. Um, also, you can you take your bucket, you know where there's a tree, if you have a tree at your place, at your house, like a big tree, you can put your bucket by the tree so that when the water drops from the sky, from the, uh, the rain drops from the sky to the, to the tree then to your bucket that is very important because you remember what what is a tree wait what do we get from our trees uh the tree goes directly to the soil and it gets the rain directly from the sky then that also bring luck because you're also taking the luck of fruitfulness of success of prosperity because this is a big tree that has the big roots that are going to give fruits to your life and that god is just giving to that tree and if you're getting that water from the sky to the tree to your bucket it is also very important because you are taking from the roots of that tree from also the leaves of that tree and you're getting your luck for prosperity for success for money money mula mula we want money we all want money we can't survive without money things have gone up our, our economy like petrol everything food we need the money and in order to have the money rain and it's raining in south africa so either you get it directly from the sky put your bucket in the middle of nowhere not by the house where that is for your clothes your washing everything i hope we understand each other Goodness. these things i've learned from my grandmother and i'm teaching you and i hope it works for you because it has worked for me for my life as we were growing up um and i still use that when i know things in my life are kind of stuck um the other thing with rainwater you can add is washo vulaba valile what what whatever kind of suasho because you know holy ash is also suasho i get um you can add snaif you can add anything that you cannot add with the other waters 
you can add in this one or you can just use it as is. I hope this helped. I am not a Sangoma because people are busy calling me Goko. I am not a Sangoma. I am not going to be a Sangoma. Uh, I am a Christian woman who was raised by two different women. And I use what I want to use when I want to use it. And I am very grateful because a lot of people come to me with testimonies and say, I have used this and that and it has worked. The urine, the the, the vimbela, this and that, and the, the holy ash, these things are working and things are opening up and shaping up in my life. And this video is specifically for rainwater and money. Money, 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 money makes the world go round. Dodibua, have a blessed, blessed day. Hallelujah. Amen.